Uh, hi guys, uh, today you're going to be solving quadratic inequalities. Yes, uh, we have three steps that we need to follow. Uh, first step is to fertilize the quadratic, and the second step, we find the critical values for inequality. And the third step, we make a number line. Uh, sometimes they call it the table of signs or solve graphically using a graph. So there's a mind where the function is positive and negative. So okay, let's jump to the question. So this, uh, this question is extracted from the uh, previous question paper made, made uh, 2018, uh, February, March. Yeah, it's question 1.2, if I'm not mistaken. You can download it and check there. Yes. Uh, here you were given an equality which is s squared minus 25, which is less than uh, zero. So here, as we, we I show you, you're gonna follow these uh, steps. Uh, steps number one. Step number one says if it arise the quadratic so this one guys will be simple to visualize you know which just open the bracket open the bracket open the bracket yes x x this is 25 is 5 times 5 so sign is going to be positive it's going to be negative 25 then we fertilize the quadratic now we fertilize the quadratic as you can see and the sec uh, second step we find the critical values for uh, inequality uh, critical, the critical values so here guys let's say for simplicity you just say x plus 5 is equal to 0 or x minus 5 is equal to 0 and say x is equal to negative 5 or x is equal to policy 5 but these are not a solution bear in mind I just want to find the critical values that's why a set equal to 0 equated to 0 but it's not a solution guys Right, and step number three, uh, we make a number line. This is one is very, guys, very, very important, guys. I think that's where we need to focus on, right? Okay, so here is we, we make a number line. Just draw the line, simple. Draw the line, yeah. Then you take your critical values which is negative 5 and positive 5 negative 5 and positive 5 yes where this inequality is equal to 0 no matter when you subtract 5 back to the equation it's going to be 0 so it's 0 here and it's 0 here right right so what are you gonna do here guys uh, what we need here firstly you must understand that this uh, this, this says this inequality says as you can see s squared minus 25 less than zero it's less than zero so since it's less than zero we need we, 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 we need we, we, so we, we wanna is we need a, a negative we wanna, need, we wanna need the values where this inequality uh, will be negative you understand all the, the, the values that will certify this equation what are those values that are less than zero when they're less than zero is so values uh, it must be or should be negative all those values when you substitute them 
into this inequality. It must give you a negative sign or a negative value. Right. So, how are you going to do it? So, firstly, let's see. It takes the values that are greater than positive 5. All the values that are greater than positive 5. You can take any value, any value that is greater than positive 5 and substitute it back to, to, to this uh, inequality, original inequality. Or as you can substitute it to these uh, factors for this inequality. So you can just say, you can take, um, let's say you take 6, 6 substitute it here. So I'm going to say 6 squared. So if you substitute 6 here, so 6 put bracket squared, give us 36 minus 25. Obviously, you're going to get a, a positive value. Because 36 is greater than, positive 36 is greater than negative 25, right? So you get a positive value. You can try any value which is greater than a positive 5. You see what I'm saying, right? So here, all the values which are greater than negative, positive 5 are positive. And again, uh, try the values which are smaller than negative 5. So it, you can take any number. You can take any value, right? Any number, right? So you can take in negative 7, negative 6, uh, negative 10, negative 100, negative 1000. It's up to you. You can take any. Okay, let me take uh, negative 10 or let me just take a uh, negative 6. If you substitute negative 6 back to the uh, to the inequality or to the effect, you can substitute here or substitute here. It's the same thing, right? So you substitute negative 6 here, uh, put the bracket, negative 6, put the bracket squared gonna get a uh, positive 36 minus 25 is still when you minus when you minus, when you minus 36 with 25 you're gonna get uh, you're gonna get a positive value right so since it's positive it means all the values which are smaller than negative 5 are positive have you get what I'm saying guys okay Let's now check the values which are between negative 5 and positive 5, or which are in between uh, negative 5 uh, and positive 5. Okay, yes, you can take any value, but I'm going to take, uh, uh, I'm going to take negative 0, or positive, or 0. Okay. So, if you 0 back to the equation, you're going to get negative 25. And that's what we are looking for. We need a value that we, that we, that we, and when we substitute them, we get is a negative value. That means those values we can substitute or we can certify this equation because it has to be less than what zero. So all the values between negative five and positive five are negative. So, okay, you, 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 you can take any value, but I, I chose zero. You can take any value and see and check what I'm saying, right? Okay, so let me, this, this, this thing tells us that our x here, our x here, our x here is greater. Because when you go from negative 5, uh, from negative 5, negative 4, negative, negative blah, blah, negative 3, negative, uh, going this side, the values are increasing. So the, the, the values are increasing. So x is greater than, so x is greater than negative 5. But you see here, uh, 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 okay, you see here, you see here, or the values which are uh, less than less than a positive five certified equation. So all the values that are less than positive five certified equation. Right. Then this answer for me. So it's simple, guys. What you need to understand here, we need the values where 
our inequality is less than what? It's less than zero. So when it's less than zero, negative, where we get the negative values, then those values are less than what? Zero. On minus substitute, uh, those values you get a negative value. When you substitute those values back to the inequality here, you get a negative value. Then that means those those values certify this inequality, right? I hope, guys, you understand me. So since from here to negative five, going to the side. Well, these values are less than x where are less than x and you are greater than x we say this was values greater than x or those values from the side which are less than x you can see all these values when you plug them into uh, equality you get a negative sign then those values certify the equation hope you understand guys okay then then let, let's use now or let's solve using the traffic card method or using a graph so it's, it's, it's one and the same thing guys and you don't have to be confused right so one and the same thing you need to do now is simple and the same thing, see, negative 5, negative 5, it's almost the same, yes? Then, come here, this is a, as you all know, this is, this is a, actually, this is a quadratic, as you all know, it's a quadratic, it means there is A here, and you see our A here is greater than 0. So since our A is greater than 0, uh, that means our, our, our graph is a smile or it has a minimum turning point it has a minimum turning point and what you need to understand here guys is that uh, all the values that are greater than uh, are greater than positive 5 are positive uh, using the same uh, procedure uh, that I, uh, I show you here, I showed you here, and again, a uh, positive and here are negative, right? That means in this portion, not in this, here our inequality is equal to zero, negative five and positive five, but uh, uh, where the, 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 the inequality is certified is in between inequality is certified is in between this graph right so it's, it's in between negative five and positive five so our inequality here is less than zero in this portion guys in this portion is less than zero i hope you guys uh, understood me yeah uh, if you have any question uh, you can email me or as you, uh, you can find me on Facebook I will leave my uh, I will leave my email uh, down on the description and again my um, Facebook page right thank you please uh, like uh, and, and subscribe